Hello from partial North Dakota, where we are currently experiencing negative 15 degrees. It is absolutely freezing up here, so just stay in St. George, okay? <laughs> uh, Brother Staley asked me to participate in Sunday school today. I told him I'd be happy to, um, but that I wasn't in town this weekend, so we improvised. Referencing Doctrine and Covenants 10, verse 4, where it says, Do not run faster or labor more than you have strength and means provided, but be diligent unto the end. And he asked me, What is one way we can labor within our capacity to labor, but endure to the end? And I think when it comes to our capacity to labor, there's a lot of times in the church where people say, Am I doing enough? Um, we're, we can be hard on ourselves. And I'm happy to say this is easily solved by Doctrine and Covenants 58, verse 27, where it says, Verily I say, men should be anxiously engaged in a good cause and do many things of their own free will and bring to pass much righteousness. Anxiously engaged in a good cause. I used to think that just meant spiritual things or church things or religious things, those kind of good things. But uh, last year, Moroni 7, verse 12, reminded me that... All things which are good cometh of God. The desire to, if you're if you're in high school, the desire to get good grades and go to college, those are good, and so they come from God. If you're young and single and you want to get married and you want to start a family, those are good and they come from God. Uh, going to college and, and fighting for those grades, that's good and it comes from God. If you are raising kids already and sometimes you're just trying to get through the day and work full time and spend some time with your kids and try to read scriptures with them those things are all good any good desire taking your kids to the movies to enjoy time together that's good and it comes from god so um as for laboring within our capacity i am so happy that i just need to be anxiously engaged in a good cause I need to make sure I'm doing things with my free will to bring to pass righteousness. And the promise in verse 28, inasmuch as men do good, they shall in no wise lose their reward. Of course, we're not going to reach all our potential in this life. We're not going to do everything perfect. There's lots of things we could have done better. Lots of things I could have done better. But I love how the Lord says, just do good and you won't lose your reward. So that's my contribution on the topic.